<laughs> trying I'm old and slow. slow. Hello and welcome to the Trickcraft server. I am on the bridge of the Enterprise Refit along with its current active builder. He disappeared on me. Oh, there he is, Creeperbot. Or howdy, howdy. Creepy, creepy robot. There we are. I'll get that name right. I haven't been over here for a while. Last time I was over here, I was touring your engineering section and, and literally lost my absolute collective uh, ability to keep my jaw from hitting the floor. And uh, this is the first time I've been on your bridge. Oh my gosh. Can you uh, fill me in on what you've been doing? So, I began this build about, I want to say, probably two, three months ago. And right off the bat, I want to say that I did not begin this build fully on my own because this was an existing project that a previous server mem member started. Um, and so I kind of hollowed out the work that was in here and sort of jumped off from from that starting point and have kind of been on my own ever since. Yeah, I, I'm just looking at the, the amount of detail you put into this and looking at my map, when I look at the map, uh, the upper right hand, excuse me, upper left hand corner, the amount of detail that the initial builder put into the into the hall is almost model perfect. It is a beautiful hall. It's Absolutely. phenomenal. Ever yeah, when this build was started by Doge, that original builder, mm -hmm. um, everyone was just like blown away at the at the progress that that he had made on this project. It was pretty phenomenal exterior work, like some of the best the server had seen. And and then when he he is currently off the server, I don't know if he'll ever come back or not, but. I just did not want that beautiful hole to go to waste, so and I knew I could do something interesting on the interior, so I really wanted to take over the project and just kind of do my thing with it. So and that's what I've been doing the past few months. Yeah, uh, I, you, like I say, it's just incredible work. And s speaking of the interior, why don't we go ahead and take a tour around it? I'll try and move slow, but I'll try and talk quickly for each room so we don't spend 15 million years on the Sounds saucer good. section alone. Sounds good. Uh, but here we are on the bridge. Um, I am building this ship to basically kind of be in between motion picture and Wrath of Khan. So like that little in-between area between the movies that we don't really get to see when like Spock would be captain is kind of what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm mostly going for motion picture styling. So this is that's what this bridge is inspired by. Um, if you take a look back here, got the little aft section with like a security area, got the airlock, which of course Spock enters in the first movie, and little bathroom here for the crew to use if they're on duty. Yep, gotta have the space pooper or else, you know, bad things happen. I see you also have a um, Jeffrey's tube around the bridge with uh, access letter. Yes. Very cool. Yeah, this is very, like very a cool. little access to like bridge kind of sub system batteries or whatever. Yes. And in the event of cutting off power from the rest of the ship, they can still survive up here. So yeah, this is like a kind of a little, I call this like the smoking lounge because it feels like mm -hmm. a little dingy bar or something. But this is like a pool table and just some seating. And then if we come through here, this is the section of the movie that you'd recognize if well, if you're a nerd like us and you recognize these sets, this is um, where Spock and Bones and Kirk kind of have their little conversation in here, right yes. in this room here. And coming back here, you can look at these huge windows, really nice view, the back of the ship with the nacelles and saucer and all that. Yeah, you nailed the warmness of this room, how this is, uh, if, if I were on a ship, I would like to spend time here because it's a very cozy, very even it's, it's huge. Uh, is space wise but it just feels warm feels like home absolutely i was really trying to replicate the look of the first movie where all of the it's very like 70s and everything's mm -hmm. orange and red and tan like <laughs> it's got a yeah. very distinct feel to it and i really wanted to kind of capture at least that you, at least you throughout. forgo you forgot you didn't use the shag carpeting thank you <laughs> wow uh, through here this is a lot of most of these rooms are just kind of little generic lounges not really worth looking at but I, pick, I imagine B deck is kind of a, you can, like, if you're a crew member, you can like rent out a lounge for the day and have a group of friends come and hang out in there. Yeah, I'd like to point yeah, out the got... detail real oh. quick here in your corridor. If, in, oh, yeah. if you, it's very set accurate. If you take a look at the corridor design he's gone here with, he even has the little alcoves above. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. The rest of the tour, we can probably take the stairs if we want to. Oh yeah, yeah. And again, this is just, look at this. 
<laughs> it's, it's just really nicely dying, designed through here. It just feels like you're on, on a ship. Oh, wow. This is C deck. I, I noticed which, the colors as you can have see, changed. Very yes, nice. We have, I am color coding the decks on this ship, which is pretty much accurate to the first movie and only seen in the first movie after once you get to star trek 2 they stopped color coding the decks but i really like how that looks and i think it's a cool idea so yeah it is it is so, it gives it a very nice feel too and then also on this deck we've got the top level of the computer core right here wow holy hell dang this is amazing oh my god it goes all the way down too. Check that out. It's almost like a little mini it warp core. Just a very nicely designed area. Very nicely done in here. This is actually the um, the on the first computer core. There's two computer cores in the saucer because there's the top one, then you've got the auxiliary bridge, and then there's a second computer core underneath the bridge, which you'll which you'll see when we head down there. Uh, this is actually the deck C here. This is a redesign of the deck because initially I had um a deck layout that I started with and after kind of sitting on it for a few weeks I realized I hated it because it was it was basically eight gigantic crew quarters that served very little purpose and wasted a lot of space so instead I reduced it down to just four large crew quarters here in the front and here you can see one of them kind of like a hotel room because you got like two two large beds this would be like where visiting Mm -hmm. Heads of state would uh, stay in here if they need to. Very nicely done. Definitely. Well, well spaced out. Yeah, you, when you end up with these large crew quarters, it can be a, a real difficult to fill them in. But you nailed it. Yeah. It has a very Star Trek feel to it as well because of the arch, right here. Yeah. And you, your your lighting and your roofing is consistent throughout each room, which is very important. Well, we can go ahead and go back down the stairs to D deck. We have this store here. See, color yeah. color change again. Red deck here. Uh, this is a primarily crew quarters deck, and most of them are not built yet. So yeah. you can see a lot it, of empty walls here. So bear with me. Still this build on is it. still very much a work in progress. And again, yes. you can come onto the server and do a warp to the build, or if you're lucky, catch uh, Mr. Robot here working on the build and come out and check out what he's doing. He's got many builds. This is the one he's currently been working on, so it's yeah, feel free to come check it out. Dedicating all my energy to this build right now, but I do have some other ones. I uh, but yeah, here's the, this is an example of a finished crew quarters. Uh, pretty heavily inspired by the by the movie set where you see Kirk's quarters, although it is a little smaller than that. Um, they got kind of this main living space with a sort of 70s couch, mm -hmm. and then in the movie you see the sonic shower is right here in the main room so that's kind of what that's supposed to represent that looks that yeah i saw that was like that's definitely a sonic shower or a light bar <laughs> but yeah sonic shower that. works and then you got kind of a more standard bathroom and i'm going to try and keep um a consistent layout for all the crew quarters they'll all kind of look exactly like this hopefully cool yeah this is the main life support for the entire saucer so you can see a very much larger room than the life support systems we've looked at on the other few decks mm -hmm. um these are basically the atmospheric processors and various gas tankage that they would need for all kinds of atmosphere needs. So they could, if there's an alien on board, they could pump different types of gases to that alien's like crew quarters. Like and, gas and such, yeah. Yeah, of course, different, um, any kind of planet's atmosphere that they need to. Um, and this is obviously two levels because it's such a large room and they need all this space for processing the atmosphere. This is also part of what this, is, which, this would be like. Um, uh, this would help service the water too. So this would be like water pumps and stuff would kind of come in through here. Okay. Um, and yeah. also waste management would kind of be serviced through parts of this room too for reclaiming different waste that is pumped through the ship. Very but, cool. Um, Very cool. That brings that brings us down to E deck here, which is again another crew quarters deck. But this is also the deck that uh, has. EPS conduits and the phasers, which we can go take a look at. Well, cause I, these are, this a, is a phaser, right? Yeah, this is, well, this this section here, this is the EPS junction, and then the junction stems off here, and then this right in here, if you kind of step into this, this is the phaser. And if you, um, I don't know if you can go into spectator, but if you come into spectator, you can come out of the ship here and see where it 
pops out. Well, look at the detail. Wow. That is, look at that phaser. And we are up here. And there are multiple turrets, both, uh, um, I forget the terminology, but on, on the upper saucer and as well as on the lower saucer. But you can see the detail he put into this. That's the kind of thing that, that sells a lot of these builds. People will never see all the full detail, but it's definitely there for people who want to take it and just geek out about it. It's there. Anyways, folks, and we will catch you in the next part where we get to tour the neck and the drive hull and hopefully the nacelles of uh, this Ooh, beautiful yes. build. Alrighty.